The FinChem project is a public-private partnership where we have 24 partners, 13 pharma and 11 Finnish partners who together have constructed a data set of 520,000 Finns and their over 50 years healthcare information and their genomic genotype information, up to 21 million variants. What is unique about the FinGen project is its utilization of the Nordic health register system. Um, each time when a citizen uses healthcare services, uh, it's re recorded in a central register, and this provides longitudinal health information for over 50 years. This, when combined with the population structure, the largest population isolate in Europe, uh, provides a very unique setting for genetic discoveries. The major findings in FinGen um, are the uh, overwhelming number of 20,000 genome-wide association analysis hits that we have identified it, when we have analyzed the half a million individuals. Among those, there are over 600 protein code altering variants, of which about 200 are Finnish enriched, so specific to Finnish population. Currently in FinGen, we are excited about two topics. The first one uh, is understanding the biological meaning of the genetic uh, associations that we have discovered so far. And the second big theme is understanding the disease trajectories. Uh, for instance, disease progression and whether or not there is genetics involved in uh, disease progression. Researchers belonging to any of the FinChen partner organizations uh, can access the individual level data. However, everybody in this world can download the summary statistics of the genome-wide associations analysis. FinChen has changed the genetic research landscape in, in Finland. It offers opportunities to generate collaborations not only within university, but uh, also nationally and especially internationally. Um, it, it offers such a, such a unique resource for research that, that it is very important for future Finnish genetic research. The, the data that are there don't exist in, in many other studies or, or, or cohorts. And, and the way that it can be utilized in, in combination with genetics is allow us to ask questions that haven't been possible before. Global Biobank collaboration is enormously important and we are trying to be very proactive in FinGen about linking to other biobanks such as the UK Biobank, such as the MVP project and many many others. And this is because you know all questions cannot be answered in any one biobank. Each has different data opportunities and each brings unique population. One of our latest research findings relates to female infertility which is a very common disorder it affects 12 to 15 percent of, of all couples um, worldwide and using FinGen data we have been able to discover a recessively active uh, acting mutation which has a very strong impact on, on uh, infertility particularly in Finland um, and we have also been able to uh, dissect the molecular mechanisms impacting on fertility in women of different age. And, and we are uh, particularly excited about the rare recessive mutation that, that we have detected in FinGen and, and we hope to develop this finding further to be used in, in fertility clinics. The FinGen study already has been valuable for Johnson Johnson in the first two stages. We combined it with data from UK Biobank and also from published studies and built sort of a GWAS meta-analysis that we could use to answer any question that we had around any target. So we could go in and very precisely um, understand our particular target, which diseases was it associated with. And this really helps us in our discovery and development efforts, really making sure that we're focused on the right disease in the right situation. Some of the most exciting uh, latest research findings that we have are on breast cancer, where we have shown for uh, women who are at highest risk of breast cancer that they should be uh, frequent, more frequently screened for breast cancer and also the screening should start earlier based on their genetic information. 
To support more intensified screening in women who are at highest genetic risk for breast cancer, we need compelling data to show that this is feasible and beneficial, and this is what we have shown in the Fingen study. One of the main challenges that biomedical research faces is that um, there's been historically a lack of ancestral diversity in genetic studies, and that cannot obviously be addressed with the Finnish population alone, so we are hoping to you know, share our best practices and share our data and analysis um, tools and results to try to promote global pan-biobank um, activities that will advance human genetic discoveries and discoveries pertinent to disease and how we might treat it in the future that would apply to all populations and really advance healthcare everywhere. The latest Fingen re release consists of uh, 520,000 individuals and their uh, healthcare data, roughly 4,000 disease endpoints. And the next wave will also include the laboratory data just received uh, to the Fingen project. We hope that in, the co in collaboration with other large-scale biobank projects, Fingen will be a key player in the global environment to move the field forward towards better understanding of disease mechanisms, translating the data uh, and information and knowledge uh, to healthcare, including better diagnostics and treatments. Thank you.